What is up beach bums? We are on the pier today trying to get after some white trout. I'm gonna be using the Fish Bite Fight Club lures and this is the fighting shrimp and it's in the knockout color which is like a new penny type color. White trout's been pretty good out here on the pier, not a lot of size to them but we're gonna see if we can get into some today. This video is sponsored by Fish Bites. If you don't know what Fish Bites are, they do have a selection of scented baits that are strip baits and these things catch so many fish i've caught more fish on this than anything else that i can think of they've got sand flea flavor shrimp blood worm clam squid anything that saltwater fish are going to eat they pretty much have that scent they do also have these scented soft plastics the uh, fight club lures they've got a mullet mold they've got the shrimp they've also got a shad mold that you can put on jig heads and use for trout redfish snook if you're in that part of florida but be sure to check them out i've got a link to their website in the description below let's see if we can get on some fish got the fish bites fighting shrimp rigged up here on the jig head gonna see if we can get in some of these white trout we've been catching some but i haven't been out here in a few days and haven't tried but Hopefully there's a few around. Water's a little bit dingy out here, which I think is gonna be a good thing for us for this. So we'll see if we can get them. What we're gonna do, I'm just gonna let it go all the way to the bottom and work it real slow. Basically just let it sit there on the bottom and see if uh, see if these guys will come and find it. Oh, there we go, there, fish. That didn't take long, holy cow, I just got it out there. It was just sitting on the bottom. <laughs> That's awesome, let's see what, oh, he came off. I don't even know what it was. Well, that did not take long. That seems to work. I don't know if that was a trout or a croaker. Yeah, these must just be tiny, whatever this is. Next time we're reeling in, this one we'll do. I'm going to cut it now. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, I'm definitely going to cut it in half. And I'm going to cut this joker in half. They're, they're hammering it, but they're not getting it in their mouth. I think it's just too big a piece. All right, so we got a much smaller piece. Hook's still a little big. I don't have any smaller jigs, but maybe this will be small enough. Maybe they'll actually get it in their mouth and I can hook them. Just teeny tiny white trout. All right, let's see. There we go. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Got a little weight behind him. I think that's a trout. Yeah. There we go, little guy. <laughs> but he felt good. We finally got him. They, they are just like nibbling me to death. But first one of the day, let's get bigger. He choked it though, look at that. Scarf that one down. I'll hang on to you in case we want to use some cut bait. All right, first one down, let's get bigger. I'm gonna try a Carolina rig with a smaller hook and just that tail piece. All right, we're on the bottom. And what I'm gonna do with this Carolina rig is, oh, it's already getting tapped. There we go. Got him that time. Maybe that smaller hook is the ticket. Let's see if it's a trout or a croaker. It's a trout. There we go. There we go. Yeah, he got that one in his mouth there. Another little guy, but we're getting them. All right, thank you, buddy. See ya. There we go. That's fish number two. We need to get bigger. We need to upgrade here, upgrade. So I'm just holding my line, feeding it off. Uh, we got a lot of wind, so I'm just letting it slowly peel off the spool until it hits the bottom, until it stops. All right, so we're on the bottom. And then I'm just reeling it slowly in, but they're hitting it pretty much while it's just sitting there. It's, it's already getting hit right now. All right. Ah, dang it. These are tricky little boogers. Mostly small, I think that's what, what our trouble is here. They seem to be pretty far out there. That's where I'm getting most of my bites anyway. There we go. Let's see if we can keep this one on. 
definitely not big yeah about the same size another trout though that is definitely our target species just itty bitty they're pretty they got a lot of interesting colors on them they got some yellows and purples I don't know if you can tell that in the, in the GoPro but pretty little fish he's probably not gonna survive we're gonna try to get him past the birds all right come on try try get swim away swim away oh he made it he made it do what what is that oh the the swing jigs yeah yeah that, there we go yeah I, some people call it a football jig all right let's see if we can get a little bigger man maybe this is a little bigger fish they've all been about the same size nope doesn't look like it there we go another dink all right go get your daddy do it for me buddy we've got four so far they've all been small so we need to uh we need to try to upgrade here. We need to find some bigger ones. There we go. This might be a little better fish. He's got a little tug to him. He's a little feistier. Yeah, Let's see what we got. Uh, he's still pretty small. Dang. All right, we are hammering the white trout, but they are all tiny. I'm going back to the larger presentation just because I'd like to try to get some bigger ones and there's a ton of little ones and we're hooking up on them with the smaller pieces, but maybe the larger presentation will get the fewer larger fish out there. I know I'm gonna have to go through a lot of nibbles, but uh, maybe that big one can choke this a little bit better. There we go. That might be a better fish. Heck yeah. Or he might be foul hooked. <laughs> yeah, well, he's small. He is foul hooked, not hooked in the mouth. But one of the bigger ones so far today. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, that was the biggest of the day too, man. That was a decent fish. Oh, dang it. When, it, when he hit, like I felt like a little tap and then it just kind of sat there he wasn't moving and then I just kind of was dragging it and I felt him so I set the hook not real well but he was it's like he had it in his mouth and he was just sitting there he wasn't tap 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 like all the smaller ones so maybe the big ones just kind of sit on it but so far my theory of using the larger presentation two bigger fish there we go Might be a little bit better fish. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, double up. It's one of my better ones of the day right here. Mostly small, but uh, yeah. Do you want him? I'm, I'm not keeping anything. You, you want him? Okay. Nice little white trout. Maybe, maybe we can find a bigger one. Let's upgrade. There you go. Oh yeah, you're, you're adding up in there. Getting a fish fry going. I got it cut in half right now on the jig head. They seem to like that presentation right now a little bit better than that Carolina rig. Put on a piece of cut bait just to see if I can get a bigger one just to end the day with just a better quality fish. Feels like we might have a better fish here on the cut bait. Might have got a bigger, our biggest one of the day. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, he's fighting pretty good. Oh yeah. Ah! Oh! Dang it. 
We're 0 for 2 on our big ones today. 0 for 2. Decent fish. There you go. Yeah, you can have this one. <laughs> yeah, get some fillets off of you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. The Fish Bites Fight Fight Club lures caught a lot of fish. And that kind of died down and then once I switched to the cut bait that was working really well at that point did catch a couple of decent sized fish and with the cut bait and missed a couple of decent sized fish the two biggest fish of the day I lost those but uh, it was a lot of fun had a lot of fun on the pier caught a lot of fish I uh, got to hang out with some cool people so that's always a good time on the pier but if you enjoy the video give it a thumbs up and as always you stay bummy <laughs>